In this lesson, we are going to discuss gas laws. At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to determine the relationships of pressure, volume, and temperature of ideal gases. We have previously discussed the five postulates of the kinetic molecular theory of gases in which we also discussed the relationship of the macroscopic properties of gases. The kinetic molecular theory of gases states that in situations like those in syringes and breathing, an increase in volume means that the gas particles will hit the wall less often, thus decreasing pressure. In situations like those in hot air balloons and deflating tires in winter, EMT states that when the gas is heated to higher temperature, the speeds of its molecules increase and thus they hit the walls more often and with more force. And in situations like those in exploding aerosol spray cans and pressure cookers, temperature rises with rising pressure. The KMT accounts for this behavior because the gas particles hit the wall with greater force and greater frequency. Since the volume remains the same, this would result in increased gas pressure. The following relationships between the three macroscopic properties of gases are described by three gas laws. The inverse relationship between volume and pressure is stated by Boyle's law. It is mathematically expressed as the product of the gas pressure and volume is constant. The direct relationship between temperature and volume is stated by Charles' law. It is mathematically expressed as the product of the volume and the reciprocal of the temperature is constant. Lastly, the direct relationship between temperature and pressure is stated by gay lussacs law, which is mathematically written as the product of pressure and the reciprocal of the temperature is constant. Combining these three laws, KMT states that the product of the pressure and volume of the gas together with the reciprocal of the temperature is constant in any case. This means that we can compute for the variables when there are three known variables, two from the first situation and one from the other situation. In Boyle's law, temperature is kept constant. That's why it is written as the product of the initial pressure and initial volume is equal to the product of the final pressure and the final volume. In Charles' law, pressure is kept constant. It is written as the ratio of the initial volume and initial temperature is equal to the ratio of the initial volume and initial temperature. Lastly, in gay lussacs law, volume is kept constant. It is written as the ratio of the initial pressure and initial temperature is equal to the initial pressure and initial temperature. For the next part of this video lesson, we are going to discuss some word problems on these three gas laws. We are going to identify which gas law will be used based on the given quantities. For the first problem, a 0.132 liter of gas is measured at 311 Kelvin. If the pressure remains constant, what will be the volume of the gas at 283 Kelvin? The first step in answering this problem is to identify the given quantities. Take note that it will not matter whether we write the quantities as the initial or final value unless stated. In this problem, we are going to identify the quantities based on the order in which they were mentioned in the problem. 0.132 liter is the initial volume. It is measured at 311 Kelvin, which is the initial temperature. Take note that this is not the final temperature because it is measured together with the initial volume. Lastly, the gas is at 283 Kelvin which is the final temperature. We are asked to solve for the final volume or the volume at 283 Kelvin. Now that we have identified all variables in the problem, we can do the solution. We need to identify what gas law is involved in this situation. Since there are changes in the volume and temperature of the gas, and the pressure is not mentioned, thus it is considered to be kept constant. Then this means that this is governed by Charles' law, which is mathematically written as V sub 1 over T sub 1 is equal to V sub 2 over T sub 2. Since we are solving for the final volume, we need to write the formula in terms of the other variables. Deriving the formula, we have the final volume is equal to the product of the initial volume and final temperature all over the initial temperature. This is done by cross-multiplying the original Charles' law formula and isolating V sub 2 by dividing both sides of the equation by the initial temperature. Now, we can plug in the values. We have V sub 2 is equal to 0.132 liters 
multiplied to 283 Kelvin all over 311 Kelvin. The unit for temperature will be cancelled. Thus, the final volume or the volume at 283 Kelvin is 0.12 liters. To verify our answer, we need to check if our quantities have a direct relationship. Since the volume decreased together with the temperature, this means that the situation really followed Charles' law. For the second problem, a sample of gas occupies a volume of 0.35 liters under a pressure of 0.75 atmosphere. If the temperature is kept constant, at what pressure will it be at 0.26 liters? Let us first identify the given quantities. 0.35 is the initial volume. It has a measurement of 0.75 atmosphere, which is the initial pressure. Lastly, the gas is measured at 0.26 liters, which is the final volume. We are asked to solve for the final pressure. We need to identify what gas law is involved in this situation. Since there are changes in the volume and pressure of the gas, and the temperature is kept constant, then this means that this is governed by Boyle's law, which is mathematically written as P sub 1 multiplied to V sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 multiplied to V sub 2. Since we are solving for the final pressure, we need to write the formula in terms of the other variables. We will derive the formula by dividing both sides of the equation by V sub 2. Thus, we have the final pressure is equal to the product of the initial pressure and initial volume all over the final volume. Now, we can plug in the values. We have P sub 2 is equal to 0.75 atmosphere multiplied to 0.35 liters all over 0.26 liters. The unit for volume will be cancelled. Thus, the final pressure or the pressure at 0.26 liters is 1 atmosphere. To verify our answer, we need to check if our quantities have an inverse relationship. Since the volume decreased, the pressure should have increased. Our answer agrees with the pressure and volume relationship stated by the Boyle's law. And for the last problem, a gas is at standard pressure and temperature. Find the new temperature at 0.75 atmosphere. Let us first identify the given quantities. In this problem, the gas is initially at standard pressure and temperature. From our previous discussion, we have identified that the standard pressure is 1 atmosphere. Therefore, this is our initial pressure. We have also identified that 273.15 Kelvin is the standard temperature. Thus, this is the initial temperature. The pressure then was changed to 0.75 atmosphere, making it the final pressure. We are asked to solve for the final temperature. We need to identify what gas law is involved in this situation. Since there are changes in the pressure and temperature of the gas, and the volume is assumed to be kept constant, then this means that this is governed by gay lussacs law. This is mathematically written as P sub 1 over T sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 all over T sub 2. Since we are solving for the final temperature, we need to write the formula in terms of the other variables. We will derive the formula by first cross-multiplying the original equation. Then, we divide both sides of the equation by P sub 1. Thus, we have T sub 2 is equal to T sub 1 multiplied to P sub 2 all over P sub 1. Now, we can plug in the values. We have T sub 2 is equal to 273.15 Kelvin multiplied to 0.75 atmosphere all over 1 atmosphere. The unit for pressure will be cancelled. Thus, the final temperature or the temperature at 0.75 atmosphere is 204.86 Kelvin. To verify our answer, we need to check if our quantities have a direct relationship. Since the pressure decreased, the temperature should have also decreased. Our answer agrees with the pressure and temperature relationship stated by Gay Lussac's law. Now that we have studied the three gas laws and their applications, and since we have also solved problems involving these gas laws, let's now review the following key points. Boyle's law states that the volume of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure at constant temperature. 
Charles' law states that the Kelvin temperature and the volume of a gas are directly related when there is no change in the pressure of the gas. And lastly, Gay-Lussac's law states that the pressure of a fixed amount of gas is directly proportional to the Kelvin temperature. And that ends our discussion on gas laws.